This demonstration is going to show you how to do continuous line drawing, which is kind of similar to scribbling in a way. We call it scumbling in art. Um, and we're going to use an object that's in front of us. So I have this little owl that's in front of me. And, um, and I, you could do a proportion box if that will help you to begin with, and especially if you have more than one object on your in front of you. But right now for this demonstration, I'm just going to do the, just this owl. And so I'm just kind of narrowing my um, space down a little bit by putting a proportion box in there. Uh, so with continuous line drawing, you are going to use a pen. So here I have a gel pen, but you can use a ballpoint pen, any pen that you have available to you. And you are not going to pick your pen up off the paper. So once you put it down, it stays down until you are completely done. So with the continuous line drawing is one continuous line. Um, now you're probably familiar with contour line drawing. That's something that we've done in class. Now the difference here is we're going to use uh, what's called scumbling, which is controlled scribbles to add detail and shading, all that fun stuff that contour line drawing often leaves out. So I know that later on I'm going to add like more like kind of scribbles. So I'm not really worried if I mess up and maybe make a, a line that's not correct. So really just be kind of loose and fluid with this. Kind of have fun with it. All right, so I have the main outline done. I'm going to start adding some interior stuff. Going to add some feet. Now, as I'm doing this, my eyes are constantly going back and forth from my paper to my object itself. So I'm not making anything up. I'm really just trying to put what's in front of me on the paper. All right, so I'm probably going to come back to this part in a little bit because I feel like I need to add some of the details. But before I do that, I really want to make get going on his face. So he's got some pretty dark circles around his eyes. So I'm going to make sure I build up those. And then there's some darker circles inside and we got some lines coming out, radiating out. I don't know, he looks kind of strung out. And I'm going to put in a beak. All right. All right, so I felt like he just needed a face. So now I can go back in and start adding some of these details. Like I, I kind of almost feel like I'm going out of my way to make it look so it's not perfect. Um, I don't want that perfect feel. I want it to be loose and fluid with the pen. Just building up some of these feathers on his tummy. All right, so my last thing is to add shading. And people sometimes struggle with this. So with shading, I need to add, I need to build up scribbles where I want it darker. And then I need to have scribbles that are kind of further apart for lighter areas. So these wings are a little bit darker, so I need to build up some of that shade. But I also want 
to make it look like it's round because it is round. It's a 3D object sitting in front of me. It's not flat, so I need to make sure that I add some of that shading to indicate that it's not flat. Now, I don't make up the shading. I'm constantly referring back to my object itself to figure out where to add some of these scribble shades. Now, he's kind of got a cro crooked neck over here. Like, I kind of need to build up a little bit that side. So it's really just kind of controlled scribbles, scumbling, to indicate where those darker areas are. His ears are a little bit darker, so I need to shade those. I'm never cheating. I'm never picking my pen up off the paper. Notice I wanted to get to over to this side, so I just brought my pen around to where I've already marked to get to this other side. So the wings kind of have this lined texture on them. So I'm, instead of doing little circles, I'm doing more linear scribbles. All right, now I'm gonna kind of regroup here. This is a really fat owl. This is a little bit darker in here, so I'm gonna add some kind of spread out scribbles. Uh-oh, my pen might be running out. Really? All right, well, that's a little bit darker. All right, so that is continuous. Line drawing. So I want you to find an object and attempt it on your own.